Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here coming to you with episode two of our rebuild in NCAA basketball 2010. If you didn't watch the last episode, make sure you go ahead and check that out. It will be linked in the card below. Make sure that you go back and watch that because it will all make sense of what is going on. Right now, we chose the Indiana State Sycamores. We start the season off playing some pretty big talent in Washington and then going to our rivals, Indiana. We're trying to kind of gauge how good our team is. If we can pull off some big wins here at the beginning of the season, it could definitely help our projections and it will help us get into the tournament later into February and March. The team isn't that bad, honestly. We have a few tall people that are pretty good, 78, 77, 77, some high 70s, 70s, and then we got some low 60s that probably aren't gonna play much. We do have a few freshmen that are redshirted that hopefully next year they'll be pretty good. We have a bunch of seniors, so we need to make sure the recruiting is good. Indiana State enters the season unranked. This team might not be ranked, make the tournament, or have a good season, but they've got one of the hardest work of mascots in the nation. If the team can work as hard as the mascot, they might be all right this year. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. It's going to be interesting to watch this matchup between the two shooting guards. Good guard play can open things up inside and can create easy baskets. Let's see if one of these guys get hot. Excited to get started. Here is the tip-off of the 2010 season for Indiana State. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. A turnover early, not helping us. Going to take it down the court. Washington going to score first. Going up 2-0. to zero. That I can guarantee you that he's not Buckles trying to help. He go. He gets it and in. That's going to be two points for Indiana State. Washington with a six to five lead. Going to hit a three here. Going up to nine, putting him up by four. Right here, Washington still up by four. Going to get fouled. Going to go in. That's going to put them up by eight. Trying to get something going. Indiana State finally makes one. Turning it down to seven-point lead right here is a 10. Not able to make it. Does get the rebound. Puts it back in. We're going to try a little bit of full-court press here to try to get a few turnovers. Trying to get something going. Trying to get Washington sped up. Right now we're shooting 6-16. Six Washington's shooting over 50%. Not playing good defense. So trying to hurry them up might help. Does not help here. They're going to make it, going up by 10. A three by Washington. Oh, that's 15-point lead. That's going to be hard to come back. Trying to get something going. Pass out. Hensley going to shoot a three. Not going to make it. Washington with another rebound. 43-23 to right now with 20 seconds left in the first half. Put in a couple three-point shooters. Davis going to hit from three. Helping us get it down to 17. Here, Trying to get the trap going. Around. Nothing's going to work. Washington going to take the last shot of the first half. Not going to make it. Not going to make it. So we go in by, down by 17 and a half. Probably not a good idea to play Washington. I honestly didn't think it was going to be this bad. Washington shooting lights out. Our defense isn't doing anything, as you can see here. Washington shooting 55%. Also, 20 rebounds compared to our 13 is not helping. Now Davis going to barely miss the first free throw. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Going to miss the second one. We do get a rebound. Put it up. Not able to get it. Got another rebound. Put it up. Finally score. Making it a 20-point lead. Washington just trying to completely take the game over. We will get a turnover here on the press. The press did help a little bit. 
However, our offense is just not strong enough to come back from 20 down. Anytime we scored, Washington scored right back. A big three here from Indiana State, making it a little closer at 19. And what does Washington do? Wide open bucket, 21 is the lead goes up to. Not happy with what we see, we take a timeout. Try to sub in some guys that aren't going to play very much this season, trying to get them some playing time. Also subbed in a bunch of three-point shooters. Davis, one of those shooters, hits a three here. Putting Indiana State up to 48. Davis, another three here, is going to hit it. 53 to 67. Down to a 14-point lead with a turnover. Down to 12. We are coming back. There's five minutes left. Down by 12. Washington looking to put this away. Can he get a turnover? But of course they pick it up and score it. And they're on 11-2 run. So that's not going to help. That puts them up by 21 with two minutes left. A turnover to Washington. And one. Going to get the three-point play. And that's going to put the nail in the coffin for the game. Uh, not looking good. Our defense just not playing good. Uh, Washington coming away with this win. They're going to win 87 to 61. And that is going to put us to 0 and 1 for right the now, year. Look at our players of the game. I tell you, they were both great here today. Brad. Derek Kenny both didn't have a bad game. 10 points, 12 rebounds, rebounds, double double. Not bad. That defense Indiana was just not the good enough to keep them. Here are the points and rebounds, the statistics for our team. Not good. Hoping Malloy can kind of take over games. He is our three-point shooter, our best three-point shooter. Only hit two this game. We brought Davis off the bench. He came in with 15 points, all of them being three-pointers. So he was actually our leading scorer coming off the bench, coming in to try to make threes. Washington destroyed us in almost everything team statistic-wise. Had more assists, had more steals, more blocks, less fouls. Actually had more turnovers, but it didn't matter because we only had one less turnover. They also hit their free throws. I was a little rusty on the free throw. I had 14 percentage, 14% 14 on my free throws. I promise that will not happen again. Three point percentage, we did win that battle, but it was just not enough. Going into game two, starting out the season 0-1, we actually match up pretty well with Indiana, but we'll see how the game plays out. The Sycamores are really off to a rocky start, Dick. Well, you know, lack of hustle, poor team chemistry, and an inability to win has left this team with a sub-500 record. Unless they turn things around quickly, it's going to be a long, cold winter. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Check out the shooting guards. These kids are a treat to watch. They're in the starting lineup for a reason and should not disappoint. We need to set the tempo. That's part of what it's telling us to do. And we're going to try to do that. We're going to try a little bit of a different game plan here. We're going to start out with the press right, right away. We do actually win the tip here. So we start with the ball. Got to get scoring early. Got to get it often. Right here, Indiana is going to make a layup. They're going to go up 6-2. to two. Indiana State trying to come back. Going to get a turnover here. Kenny getting after it and saves it. Awesome turnover here. Going to get rewarded for his hard work. Kenny going to get it here. Passing out the buckles. He needs to hit threes. He does. Indiana State going up by one. Seven to six. Their first lead of the season. Indiana up by five right here. Trying to make it seven. They do. Indiana State needs to get something going quick. Or this game's going to get out of hand like game one. Hensley with an amazing behind the back dribble gets him to the gets him to the goal. He is gonna make the layup. Hensley here, top of the key. 16 to 17, Indiana State looking to get back in the game. Malloy gonna get a huge deep three here. Trying to get the tempo back to up tempo so that our players play better. 
Winston, not a three-point shooter, but he will make a three. Indiana State going up by four. Malloy, another three attempt here. Going to make it. Indiana State up by five. Going in the half, up by one. We cannot be mad about that. Not going to hit that last shot, but going in by one at half. Happy with that. Indiana State played pretty well the first half. We played good defense, only gave up 31 points. That's pretty good compared to last game. Indiana still 61% from the field goal. We got to get that down. However, they have not hit a three, which has definitely helped us at this point in the game. Oh, the and one's going to kill us. Indiana going to go up by five. Up by seven here. We're trying to get back in the game. Buckles hitting a three. Gets it down to four. After a 6-0 run from Indiana, make that an 8-0 run with the alley oop. They're going to go up. Malloy trying to do anything he can to stay in the game. Going to make it a 10-point game with a three. Malloy, another three attempt here. Going to make it. Still only 11-point game. With two minutes left, we got to get turnovers quick where this game is going to be it. Breaks the press that easy with the layup. Misses it, but of course he gets the rebound and lays it in. That's going to do it. That's going to be the nail in the coffin. Indiana State going to lose their second game of the season. Not the way we wanted to start, especially against Indiana. We played so good in the first half, just not able to do it in the second half. Giving up way too many points. Going to make the shot here, but it's still going to be a 15-point loss for the Sycamores. Indiana State loses in a well-fought match. I don't think anyone expected them to pull out a win tonight. 15-point loss. Going to put us at 0-2 for the year. Spears, 10 points, 6 rebounds. Kenny, after his double-double last game. 6.8 rebounds this game. Five assists from him is pretty good. Malloy gonna be our is 19 points with all almost all three pointers there. He's gonna be our three point shooter. Davis last game had the most points in this game. He only had three, making one three point attempt. You can tell how many threes we took. Pretty much the only way we could stay in the game was to shoot threes. We did lead in assists. We did lead in stills. However, turnovers, we could not stop turning the ball over. Did not cause Indiana to have turnovers. We also, Indiana 57% from field goal. They do not make a three, which is huge, but still not gonna matter. Even though we made 11 threes that game, we still couldn't win. That's 33 points out of three pointers and we couldn't pull out the victory. Going into our recruits, Ty Coker wanting him to come to Indiana State. His interest is very high. We're going to go ahead and offer him a scholarship. A seven-foot center would be huge for us. So we're going to go ahead, offer him a scholarship. Hope he signs with Indiana State. We do have four scholarships this year. So we want to make sure that we get some good players for the future. Next guy we're going to look at is going to be Hickman. He's a 6'9 center as well. He likes Indiana State, so we're going to go ahead and offer him a scholarship as well. Going into our three-star guys, Bob Kinsley, our small forward. We def definitely need a small forward. Looking at his tape, looks like he's going to be good. Going to offer him a scholarship. Hope he signs. He's very interested in Indiana State as well. Next three-star guy is going to be Quint Mayo, 6'9", center, knows how to score. We're going to offer him a scholarship. We're not going to let any three-stars leave without a scholarship offered. He is 159 national rank, so we've offered our scholarships, hoping to get at least one small forward and a couple of centers. We'll wait and see how it ends up playing out. B.B. Webster, another center, 6'11". He would be a good sign, but we do not offer him a scholarship yet. Stanton, a small forward, 6'4". We're really looking for a guy that can shoot threes. It doesn't look like he is one that can. So, going to be hard to give him a scholarship, but we do offer him one anyways. 
because we need a small forward. So we've offered multiple scholarships. We're gonna see who ends up signing in in the next episode. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also feel free to hit that red subscribe button so that you can catch the rest of the videos. I'm going to do two games at a time, whether that be multiple weeks. That way we can kind of fly through the season and get Indiana State back on top. Till next time, slacker out.